that's quite nice there I just feel it now and check there's no sharp edges and that just feels a little flatter than anywhere else so homemade chopsticks let's give it a go So before we get started in today's video, I want to say a massive thank you to Tony's Bonsai for not only for the idea, but for this afternoon's wood carving project. My plan for the bigger one is that I want to kind of make a larger, I'm going to keep this fairly chunky, this top end, and I'm going to do something for the thumb area here, and then this is going to be the skinny, you know, chopstick part. And before anyone slates me, this is my open owl that I've had literally since I was about nine or ten years old. Um, and I've used this for wood carving, wood, you know, whittling and things like that my whole life. So that's why it's looking a little bit doggy, uh, a little bit rough around the edges. I even spray painted this black line on it, which I thought was seriously cool back in the day. Anyway, let's get into it. I like the open out because you can kind of get in there with your thumb and carve some deeper stuff like that. I mean, Tony used the bloody hatchet, so why can't I use a little open out? I told him the other day, guys. I told him it's not the size that matters. So already we're at this sort of stage. I'm doing this about 10 minutes now. Just working on the very end of the chopstick now. Kind of don't want it to get, become too fine of a point, but it's got to be thin enough that it's going to actually get into the soil and push the soil down fill all those void areas when we come to do our repotting in the spring of which I have lots to do lots of trees not lots of pots for them to go in so yeah it's not perfect but I'm pretty happy with that as a general idea of how I want it to start I don't want to be that guy um, but Tony mentioned in his video that his dad was a woodworking teacher um, my dad is a wood turner so he is probably not going to watch this, but if he does, he would be absolutely cringing. Um, so if you like this kind of content or you think you might want to see what uh, an actual experienced woodworker um, could do, let me know in the comments because I'm sure we could arrange that. Tony is a great example. He gets his dad involved quite often and I enjoy watching that. So maybe, maybe I could recreate that. Who knows? very comfortable. Uh, it kind of reminds me now of like an EpiPen. <laughs> there we go. That is now starting to look like something I want to use. No, I'm filming me. Okay. I've come to show Jen what she thinks, but I'm not allowed to film anything dirty apparently. No, I what, need to what, clean that. What do you think? I think you're going to get pulled over very quickly if you have that on you. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It looks like you made it in prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not a shank. It looks like a shank. It's a chopstick. You're going to chop someone? <laughs> That's not okay. You can't use that. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Eventually. Hey, hello. We're filming inside today. Um, after the abuse I took, um, being told that my chopstick looked like this, 
and then I was out of a film or something that looked like this. When really what I was trying to do was make something that looked a bit more like this. Um, I decided to uh, keep trying and to do something a bit more, I don't know. So I thinned this one down, made something like that, but I didn't like it. I wasn't happy. So I brought it all inside and made something like this, which I think we'll all agree is much better, right? Much more, uh, I don't know. It's all a learning process though, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So, And then my 11 month old was up at one o'clock in the morning and decided to stay up and have a party. So I was up and decided to then make this a little cute one, a little practice. Um, but it kind of gave me a bit more experience to better go right now. Actually, I can, I can do this. I can do it. I uh, selected this one that we're going to do together. So this is a perfect starter material. And this is where the main lesson I learned is pick something that already kind of looks like a chopstick, um, not a steak. So this kind of see how it tapers down already. It's done some of the work for us. It's about the right length. Then if you remember this picture, that's kind of, I use that as a template. So you just kind of want to go carve in and then make this the chopstick part. So let's get into it. As you can see, that's how you kind of can make a basic shape. I just learned that you want to kind of come in quite sharp and then make it quite thin. And there you have it, a chopstick. This one I literally probably spent about an hour just making it like sandpaper smooth with a carving knife. Um, Cause obviously the next stage would be to sand this and you can if you want to, but I spent so long making sure that it's all as smooth as can be, so this one doesn't need sounding at all. This one could do with it, but <laughs> as you saw, I didn't spend as long carving it. So, hey, there we go. I can't wait to use these in the spring. The only way you'll be able to see me use them in the spring is if you subscribe. So go ahead and do that right now. So next thing to do with these is to actually stain them. Um, I don't have any, sorry about that. And I was inspired obviously by Tony's bonsai. And I'm glad I gave it a go because um, I'm gonna count this as a bit of a failure but I had fun making it, so that's what it's all about, isn't it? And this is something I'm a bit more proud of. Um, and this I will actually genuinely be using, chopstick. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching to the end. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And wherever you are in the world, make sure you take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.